Grab your life vests, friends. We are taking the mini house barge on its maiden voyage today. I got out to the lake pretty early, so I'm waiting for the kiosk to open now. I'm a little nervous about launching this boat. It's completely untested. I've got also got an untested motor. But I figure the best thing to do here is just jump in with both feet. I'm at Lake Clementine in California. This lake was finished in 1939 to prevent the propagation of silt downstream from Gold Rush era hydraulic mining. All right, I didn't get the chance to film that. There was another person waiting. But we're unloaded out of the truck. I just kind of yeeted the boat out of the back of the truck. I'll get all that stuff put into the boat and we'll head on out. I moved to the far side of the dock to be out of the way. I waited 20 minutes there as a test. I'm happy to report that the hull was completely watertight. This might be a small boat, but I'm planning some big adventures with it. I want to take it down a river with Class 1 rapids. I'll navigate through a tunnel, and I'll go on a multi-week trip totaling well over 100 miles. I don't want you to miss any of those voyages, so please consider subscribing. When I had the other boat out here, this island was completely barren. I'll put in a clip of the old one. It was crazy that those trees sprung up like that just over the course of a decade. It took me about an hour to navigate back to the campsite here. There weren't any issues on the trip. I think it's particularly humorous that the kayak is almost four feet longer than the boat. This late in the season, there are only four campsites open here, and they're all first come, first serve. I just got up here. I'm going to have peach halves and beer, and then I'm going to go set up my tent. My campsite's way over there, but I had this perfect spot to tie up to right here. It drops off real quick, and I was able to set up my gangplank to get ashore without getting my feet wet. Sierra Nevada felt like an appropriate beer for the trip, given the location. I took a nap before setting up camp. Do a little tour on the inside here. There's the wood stove. We'll be cooking dinner on that tonight. Got a couple of lamps. A little dry sink up there in the corner. And this piece of wood can be popped out. And this space here, extending underneath, becomes the bed. I had something of like a like a miner's cabin theme in mind when I built this. So I went with like a horseshoe bottle opener. The bell is horseshoe themed. The coat rack is twig themed. So. We named the boat Motherload and I always find something particularly humorous 
when the hailing port is somewhere the boat will never call. So we made it Coloma. There's a boat in San Francisco with a hailing port of Las Vegas. I just find that super funny. I'll go and show you the campsite. We're out here on Lake Clementine. Which is a very, very pretty lake. A little gangplank there that helps me walk onto the boat. Then I'll walk over the roof and get into the back without getting my feet wet. Campfires are prohibited right now. But this place is just stunning. All the campsites here are boat access only. So it's a pretty special spot. It takes some work to get back into. A big problem with the other mini houseboats I've seen built is stability. I want to show you something neat. So this this here is floating and I can stand on the corner and it doesn't flip over. So I I challenge you to do that with your mini houseboat and post a video of it. I'm waiting for my buddy to drive up from Sacramento. I don't want to cook dinner yet, but it's getting kind of late here. I'm going to just have a couple of slices of peaches. And uh, I think for dinner we're going to cook hot dogs and maybe chili as a, as a topping. I'm paddling back to the boat launch to get my buddy the River Ninja. I lift my paddleboard on my truck. I'm going to take the paddleboard back to the camp and my buddy's going to take the kayak. I think there's trap debris underneath this island that is decomposing and it's causing gas to bubble up through the water. There were a couple of geese hanging out. Maybe the bubbles tickled their feet. I made a little friend at the boat launch while I waited. We started our voyage back to the campsite at 9 p.m. Paddling at night was super spooky. I gotta give my buddy credit for doing a night paddle as his first time in a kayak in years. I think the spookiness got to him a little bit. He suggested I was a bit like Charon when he ferries his passengers across the river Styx. The next morning, I whipped up some eggs and bacon. Just warming up the last of the breakfast here. Slapping a tortilla on that. It's gonna be a meal. After breakfast, we paddled to a trailhead to go for a hike.
think I'm going to call this place Potty Cove. I spotted some wire ropes on the hike. I don't know what they're from. Maybe the road construction. I think the spliced eye is neat. Everyone today would use a swedged connection with an eye thimble. Not a spliced eye. We got a great view of Lime Rock from the trail. Back in the day it was called Robber's Roost because the notorious stagecoach bandit Black Bart was said to hide out there with his gang. We hiked three miles with 780 feet of elevation gain. After the hike, we went back to camp to cook lunch. When we finished lunch, I took a nap before setting out on an afternoon paddle. Our goal was to reach the upstream end of the lake. Looks like it might be part of the stuff. It's obvious why Upper Lake Clementine is a very popular beach. We got too many visitors this summer and was temporarily closed. Now it requires a special parking permit to use.
hope this is worth it. We'll see. Oh, I'm going up. Don't flip it. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think that might be the limit right there. Smooth. Has peanut butter. On the way back, we took a few minutes to explore this little backwater.
We'll go to Hellhole Reservoir next year. It's a very cool place. You can camp anywhere you want in Hellhole. Once we were back at camp, I set about warming up some soup. We broke camp after having a hearty breakfast of bacon and eggs. We're all loaded up. My buddy's gonna be taking the kayak back and I'm towing the paddle board. The camper boat is absolutely stuffed. We are passing the Auburn Boat Club. This club has been running a marina on the lake since it was founded in 1952. The trick when you're coming into dock is not to go any faster than you want to hit anything. 
Just like this guy. There were lots of folks using the boat once, so I didn't want to fiddle futz around with filming. I had a great time camping at Lake Clementine. I hope you join me on the next adventure with this boat.